In this weekend video, I want to take a look at the CRB and, and the relationship of the currency, specifically the dollar. Um, this relationship between uh, the, the dollar and the and bull markets and commodities uh, seems to have started right around um, oh, 2002 as we were uh, getting ready to put in that bottom in the uh, stock market. So a couple things I want to note. Um, the, the CRB was in a, a bear market from 1980 until, well, we kind of made this double bottom here in uh, 99 and then again in 2002. So I, I would, you can make the argument that the bull market started uh, uh, late 2001, almost 2002. And uh, as you'll notice, we've got a series of uh, lower highs in the CRB as as that bear market unfolded. Uh, each three-year cycle uh, came up a little short of um, moving above the previous three-year cycle high. Uh, and then that changed uh, after that double bottom here in, uh, we'll just call it 2002. Um, that changed and the CRB um, moved above the previous three-year cycle high. And that was a signal that a secular bear market had begun, that the, the long-term uh, bear market was over and a secular, excuse me, bull market had begun. Um, you can see that this is right when the dollar uh, topped in 2002, kind of this little triple top thing here, uh, rolled over and, uh, and then the dollar entered a long-term bear market, um, which bottomed uh, in uh, early 2008. And, uh, and it was um, at that same time that the CRB made its uh, final high and then began another uh, secular bear market. And again, we see this, the same pattern of lower highs. Each three-year cycle fails to make uh, a lower high. And then uh, we get uh, the, the, the crash during the recession last year. And, and I've noted this before that... that Briefly, oil went to uh, went negative. I think it was somewhere around minus thirty-five dollars. Uh, people were were paying people to take the oil. Uh, if if that's not a sign of a final bear market bottom, then you know if if that's not the bell ringing, I don't know what is. And and we can see we've we've kind of got uh, the, this similar pattern in the in the currencies. We've got. Uh, Technically, the, the bull market, um, I think, ended right here in 2017. But again, we've kind of got this double top, very similar to this double bottom in the CRB. So one could make the case that, that the uh, uh, bull market in the, in the dollar uh, ended in um, the spring of uh, 2020. And uh, for the most part, these uh, secular bull and bear markets tend to last usually at least six to eight years. So if, if we would uh, extrapolate that, then, you know, we're probably, uh, the bear market in the dollar is probably not going to be over until 2026, 2027. The next, uh, well, the um, the second three-year cycle low uh, in, the, uh, in the dollar will be due in about uh, 2026 or 27. So we've, we've got a three-year cycle low right here um, and back at the very beginning of the year, but it just hasn't been able to get much traction, not, um, not like you would really expect. So here was, here was a three-year cycle low during, during the last bull market, and this delivered a pretty nice rally before rolling over and then uh, continuing uh, down. Uh, and, the, and then the same thing here, this uh, three-year cycle low delivered a, a pretty decent rally before rolling over and completing that secular bear market. Uh, but this time the, the rally out of the three-year cycle low has been very weak. Um, I don't think there is uh, very good odds that it could come up and, and make a higher high, especially with the CRB uh, giving us all the signs that it's begun a new secular bull market. And if that's the case, then you would um, expect that the dollar is going to 
uh, be stuck in a, in a bear market, a long-term bear market. So uh, we've got the same pattern here. Uh, the CRB has made a higher high, uh, same as it did right here. So uh, I think we have to assume that we have started a secular bull market in commodities and maybe uh, maybe the bull market in stocks continues. Usually they run opposite. Um, if commodities are in a bull market, stocks tend to be in a bear market, but uh, we don't have any sign yet that, that stocks have topped. I haven't seen that, that real parabolic move that I would anticipate would uh, end the bull market in stocks. So it may be that, that we've just got... Um, so much currency printing from central banks all over the world that, that we're going to have a, a bull market in everything, at least for a while. Eventually, um, the commodity markets will uh, destroy the economy and, and stocks will will enter a secular bear market. But it, uh, the bull market in stocks may last longer than uh, most of us anticipate, driven by uh, just currency debasement, the same thing that's driving the bull market and commodities. Well, one of the things driving the bull market and commodities, there's also uh, shortages this time, which uh, I don't, there was to, to some degree, there were shortages here too, as um, um, the, uh, there, there had been no investment in commodity, especially energy production for, for many, many years because prices were, were generally going down. And, uh, and so it, it took a while to bring that production online. And that's what gave us uh, this bull market here, along with um, um, currency debasement and in, uh, low interest rates. So combination of things, I think, are driving this bull market as well. Um, supply problems and uh, currency debasement. And uh, as I said, we've got a rally out of a three-year cycle low here, but it's been very, very tepid uh, so far. And, uh, and I kind of suspect it's going to continue that way. And uh, I think we'll We'll continue uh, this at some point here. This is going to roll over and uh, we'll start the move down into the next three year cycle low, which is going to be doing about um, maybe late 23 or early 24. So at some point here, this this rally is going to fizzle out and, uh, and we're going to start down and that should really light a fire under commodities. But um, I think there's probably still more rally to go. And, uh, and if that rally can make it into, you know, at least halfway into next year, that may be the, uh, the driver for a more difficult year in commodities, which is uh, my, one of my previous videos I discussed that after a move like this for almost two years now, a year and a half anyway, um, next year might be a little bit more difficult in commodities, maybe not quite the straight up pattern that we've seen uh, over the last year and a half. We may have to consolidate for a while uh, before we continue, but I think the, the secular bull market in commodities probably still has another five to six years to go before uh, it's over.